Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing a really fun makeup tutorial using only drugstore products. I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time because <laughs> Let's be honest here. I don't wear makeup, like a full face of makeup every day. Probably once a week maybe, or twice a week. Sometimes if I'm feeling fun. Most days I don't wear any makeup at all, or I just will wear mascara. But when I actually do my makeup, I really do enjoy it. And I'm using all drugstore products. So these are products that you can find at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, any place like that. You can find them there. So they're much more affordable. Sometimes I watch makeup tutorials and they're using really expensive, like fancy products that you have to go to an Ulta Beauty or Sephora to get, which is fine. I have one mascara from, uh, I think it's from Sephora. My boyfriend got it for me and I absolutely love it but I also have another mascara that I got from Walmart which I also love so you don't have to have expensive fancy products to do a full face of makeup and it look good so today that's what we're gonna be doing this is a really long intro so let's get to painting our faces the first thing I always do when I start my makeup process is moisturize. Um, a couple years ago, I was on an acne medication, like a very hardcore acne medication because I had real bad acne and thankfully it's much better now. Uh, but I was on that for about seven months and it really worked and I'm super happy, but it just always would dry me out really bad. And to this day, if I don't wear some sort of moisturizer, then I get really dry patches right in here, all over my forehead, like in my nose creases over here pretty much all over my face. So moisturizing is really important to me. And girl, it is hard to find a moisturizer if you have sensitive skin. Like if you know what I'm talking about and you have sensitive skin, it's a process. So I finally found something that worked that didn't leave splotchy red burning places on my face. And so I've been using that for a couple of months now, since about December, and I really, really, really like it. So I will link what I use down in the description box. But before I do my makeup, and I really recommend to you guys before you do your makeup, always moisturize your face. It's just a very important step. Then we're gonna be going in with this L'Oreal Paris. This is the Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 202 Creamy Neutral. So that is what I have been using and I got this from Walmart, I think. So, oh, it's oozing out. So I just take a little bit of it, pretty much like I don't even have to squeeze it. It kind of comes out on its own, which is kind of creepy and kind of cool. Um, and then I have a foundation brush. I got this off of um, Amazon. I'll try to link this too. It's from the brand Limona, I think. And it's a flat Kabuki T01. That's fun to say. So, and it just has a flat tip like that. So what I do is I just get a little bit and I just start to like blot it on and just take it and then I will start to rub it in. And I try to do like circular motions or padding motions and just get it all around. I'm not super picky about this part because I don't normally do full face and even if I do, I don't want it to be super full coverage. So I just kind of roll it around and if it kind of looks like a little splotchy then I will get some more so I probably will just get a hair more because it's still a little splotchy in these areas and around my nose so just put it a little bit there and dab it on right here probably down here I have really naturally naturally red cheeks and stuff so it's kind of hard to cover those up so but I just kind of go all around and get in there I never used to use a foundation brush. I would always use a beauty blender or my hands because I just didn't think that a foundation brush worked very well. And for a while there, beauty blenders were the thing. Like everybody used a beauty blender and I still do, but I will show y'all what I use it for now. I don't use it for applying my foundation anymore. Okay. So I kind of just put it on my neck too. As you can see, the color is a little bit different because I can never find my perfect shade. And I've kind of just gotten over that. Like I wear my hair down and I wear shirts that kind of cover my chest a little bit more and I just don't really care. That might not be the best attitude, but that is what I do. So here's the foundation step. That is step is done. 
then if i'm feeling like it like if i have some under eye bags and just dark spots then i'm gonna go in with a concealer i rarely use concealer but hey what the heck we're going all the way today this is the maybelline concealer it's kind of um fading a little bit but it's got this blue cap um it's oil free and it's in the shade 10 i think it's the maybelline super stay and i like it it's got this nice applicator so i'll just come and kind of make like a triangle that's not a triangle but yeah you know what i mean this one will make a triangle so just kind of like that still not really a triangle but it's okay then sometimes i'll take it and put it like in on any blemishes that i have but today i'm just not doing that and i will take your ring finger this is really important because it's like a very sensitive piece of skin here so you want to take your ring finger and just press it in ever so gently i'm gonna switch fingers and tap 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 girl this is like the classic a makeup face <laughs> so Tap, tap, tap. I kind of bring it down, bring it across my nose, just to even it out. Well, that was eventful. My camera ran out of storage while I was talking and applying makeup and I didn't know it. So I have already bronzed my face. And as I was saying, I have the e.l.f. palette. And this is my favorite part of my makeup routine. I don't know why, but after I conceal, this is what I do next. This is the e.l.f. palette. It's the two-in-one, and it has this beautiful bronzy um, contour bronze in it. And then it also has a blush, which is really cute. My cheeks are automatically naturally red-ish all the time, but I do like this because it's like a really sparkly, nice color. So I've already done the contour, but basically what I do is I get some on my contour brush, which is just a set that my friend got me. I don't know where she got it from, but if I can find it, I can link them below, but it's just your basic contour brush. I get a little bit on my, on the tip of it, and then I just tap it off, and then you just wanna go on like that, and tap it up. And I'm kind of like not super particular where it goes. If it's a mess or it doesn't look natural, then I can go back in and fix it. So at first, I'm not super worried about what it looks like. Then we're going to go in with a blush brush blush brush blush brush blush brush that's a mouthful um same thing with this set this is just a really cheap set that i got on amazon but they're super cute it's like pink marble and i got it on on amazon so i'll try to link that one below as well but then i just go into the blush color tap it tap tap it tap and just kind of go in i don't i mean it kind of does a little bit but it's not like so much that it looks crazy which i kind of like because i'm not super particular about the blush and then the super fun part comes after this my it it broke but this is the maybelline new york master chrome metallic highlighter and girl that's what the cover looks like but and it's kind of like all broken up and chunky so it's not beautiful anymore but look at that color that is a beautiful color. It shimmers. So just imagine what it looks like on your face. I'm about to show you. So I'm going in with this little fan brush guy. I love him. Oh, it's like flying everywhere. Tap, tap. And I just go right here. And I put it on that apple. I don't know what it's called. But I put it right there. And the same thing on this side. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so fun. And you can do this if you want to. I never do this, but like some girls or some people put it on the tip of their nose. They'll put it on their um, eyebrow line, sometimes on their chin, stuff like that. But I just don't prefer to do that. So I just will put it right along there on those parts of my face. And that's it for that step. And now it's the eyeballs so i never used to curl my eyelashes but i did start recently curling my eyelashes so what i do is i just put it on and i hold it for 10 seconds roughly 10 seconds and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side Ugh, it always makes my eyes water definitely not a necessary step but if you want them to be a little bit 
then <laughs> you can. So another thing also, I used to always, always, always wear eyeliner. Recently, I just have not been and I got out of the habit of wearing it. And now when I do wear it, I feel like it looks way too much and I can tell like it's just not super natural. So if I want to go for a more glamorous look, then I will wear um, eyeliner, but today I'm not. If I do though, this is normally what I will use. This is, it's a um, gel pen or whatever and it's from Revlon and it's the Colorstay liquid eye pen. And I really like it because all I do is just, you know, pull your eyelid down, do what you want to do, girl. So that's what I use. I really do recommend this one. You can get really precise with where you put it. So if you do like wearing eyeliner, then I would recommend this one. I got this from Walmart, like I said. So since I'm not doing that though, I am going to go ahead and put my... I don't know if I wanna wear eyeshadow. I never really, I, I don't know how to do eyeshadow very good. I am gonna put a little bit on, but I'll show you guys what I do. It's really nothing fancy, nothing special, but this is the Natural NYX palette. I got this from Walmart. This is what it looks like. And it does have really pretty colors. They're just very neutral and shiny. So they're pretty. Um, I go in with this like gold one first, either this gold one first or this like pale nude one. But today I'm just gonna put a little bit of gold. So I will just take just an eyeshadow brush, tap it off. A lot taps off, anyway. And I will just pat, 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 pat it on. Can you hear the wind blowing? It's blowing a lot. I think we're getting a storm. All right, so then tap, tap, tap. I'm not super particular about this because like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to eyeshadow. <sighs> so this is as good as it gets and I'm okay with that. And then the final touch that pulls it all together. I love mascara. I love mascara. Guess what? I love mascara. Oh, here it is. I'm looking for it. Like I said, on days that I don't wear makeup, if I decide to do anything at all, it is always mascara because mascara is just such a staple and it's something that can pull your whole look together with just doing one thing. I just, mascara is my friend. So I've been using this Maybelline New York, the Mega Plush Volume Express. It's in this blue bottle, but this is also old. So I don't know, they might have a new packaging now, but it's the Maybelline New York, the Mega Plush. Yeah, so this one, I, I just love the wand on this. I'm actually almost out of it and I need to get more. So I just go in, I'm gonna get, I always get really up close for my mascara, but I just go in, I just, you know, put mascara on. I've trained myself not to make the face, but it does help sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. I always used to watch my mom when she would put her makeup on and she would make that face and I always told myself that I was not going to make my face, like do my face like that, but you know, it happens. So I will do the tops first. Sometimes I don't even do the bottoms. Oh my gosh, it's whipping out there. Okay, so once I've got that, I don't dip it again, I just, use what's already on here and I will lightly go through look I'm making that face a little bit I told myself I wouldn't and go through and do the bottom and that's all I do so this is the drugstore makeup look I do have a setting powder I don't really use the setting powder if I do and if you guys are interested in a setting If you're interested in a setting powder, then I just have the elf one. Oh, I have the elf one And like I said, this was also from Walmart and it just opens up. It has its own mirror It was actually the mirror I was using um, And it just looks like that and it's just a white powder translucent and if I use it then I will use just a big fluffy powder brush and just do it in circular motions. You are beautiful no matter what with makeup, without makeup, if it looks cakey, if it looks natural, it doesn't matter. You do you girl. You do what makes you feel good. You are fully loved always and forever and you are beautiful and you are wonderfully and fearfully made and I think that concludes it. I actually washed my hair today so now I have makeup 
and clean hair. Too bad I'm not going anywhere. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything like this again. And thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!